And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're looking at a game called Blocks. Now this is a heavy box, don't you think? But it's bright and, and cool looking. It's a game of three-dimensional blocks. This is not the first time we've reviewed this. We actually reviewed, or uh, I, I, you know, I don't even remember if I reviewed it now, but I certainly took a look at an early prototype of this game when I lived in Korea. And they got it published, and now it's a game that you can go out and buy has fantastic components, really good looking uh, components, but let's talk about the game. Before we do that, here we go. So in the middle of the table, we have a bunch of the blocks all stacked up, and they, they don't move too much. But you can see they're translucent blocks, uh, three-dimensional, very good quality. And then on the outside of the board, there are chips that you have to painstakingly put stickers on, not really hard, at the beginning of the game. And then you have your pieces. And then each player has a spot to where they're going to put, for example, the pink is going to build their cube here. On your turn, you roll a die. And you move clockwise in my spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's say I did it. Let's say I rolled a four. If you land on a piece where there's no one else, you turn the chip over if it's not already there, and you do whatever it says. This one says I can take any piece I want. This one says the same thing. That's a pretty good day over here. This one says take one of these pieces, the T pieces. When you take whatever piece you want or whatever piece it tells you to take, you put it in your thing. Once you put it there, it's kind of stuck. So as you're taking the pieces, you can put them in three-dimensionally all you want, but you have to think, how am I going to fit other pieces in here? What you're trying to do is you're trying to build the perfect cube. So for example, there you go, a perfect cube. If you do that, you've just won the game. Now, if you land on another piece, player's thing, what you're going to do, you're forced to do actually, is you must take one of their pieces and give them one of yours. So let's say I'm trying to get my last piece and this player, I land on them, then I must say, all right, uh, I guess I'll take this one here and I'll stick it in like this and then give them one of my pieces and give them this one here. And that's not as useful for them and not very useful for me either. Hopefully I can land on someone else again and trade them. Now the game will go until one person finishes a perfect cube or until either all the pieces are gone or all the chips are turned face up. Now, when that happens, whoever has the most complete layers is the winner and ties are broken by the incomplete layers, how many cubes you have. That's the regular game. The advanced game, which I hesitate to call advanced, I don't see why you would never play it this way, is, I mean, oh, you, why you wouldn't always play this way, is you can move either direction when you roll a die, you pick which way you want to go. Also, you have cards. You'll start the game with three cards, and every time you get a complete layer, you get another card. And these cards do different things. Instead of rolling, you can switch spots with someone else's piece. Instead of rolling, you go one, you go six, you go five, you know, the different numbers in the game. And there's also a few in here that are protection cards against other players when they try to trade pieces with you or try to steal a piece from you. So that's basically it. The cards aren't that big of a deal, but there will be that time where you need that exact piece. And that's the game. All right, Blocks by Play This One. And Blocks is a game in which, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very simple. You know, you gotta play with the variant. You gotta play where you can go both ways because you have those decisions in. Which way am I gonna go? Which cards will I play when? And how will I build my cube? Very bright and colorful, but let's, Melody, what do you think of the game? I like this game because it kind of reminded me a little bit of that game called Tetris. How you kind of move the thing down and put it into the place, try to complete a row, something like that. And it was a lot of fun trying to build a cube, and the pieces look really cool. And there is a bit of take that because you land another player and you land on something and steal something from someone else. And so some people don't like that. Melody does like to steal stuff from other players. 
Uh, for me, honestly, this game is too light. This is not something that I would want to play unless I was playing with kids. I like the idea of building cubes, but other than that, I just feel that it's, you know, even with the cards and you can pick one to go where, yeah, that's better, but it still felt a little too random for me. And you? Oh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com.